An ongoing algae problem in Lake Norman finally getting fixed. Back in January, homeowners in Cornelius asked local leaders to do something about an unsightly blue-green algae that's growing at just an alarming rate. And now, just weeks later, later local agencies funding a $60,000 treatment plan. WCNC Charlotte's Destiny Richards now live in Cornelius with a look at what's being done to get rid of some of that green stuff. Destiny? This blue-green algae, also called lingbia, has taken over 10 acres of lake bottom here at Lake Norman. But since mid-April, a treatment plan has been underway to stop it from growing out of control. It's a growing problem in Lake Norman. Stringy, matty. And harmful. It's not an algae species that you want to have in the lake. Blue-green algae, or lingbia, has been a problem in Lake Norman for about two years, according to the Lake Norman Marine Commission. Homeowners in Cornelius recently brought up complaints and a need to fund a treatment plan. It's hard asking people what it is and nobody knew what it was. You know, I got grandkids and come over swimming. You can't even have them swimming in it, anywhere near it. It all came together by February this year with agencies like Duke Energy, Charlotte Water, as well as several city and county governments providing the funding. It's being led by the NC State University Extension due to their work studying the same algae in Lake Gaston which Extension Associate Jessica Bauman says has taken up about 1,300 acres. We've done a lot of research and we kind of figured out a good treatment program that is we're seeing results in Lake Gaston with. So we've taken that same program and we're applying it to, to Lake Norman. The treatment plan consists of distributing an underwater algicide, attacking the lingbia at a cellular level. Bauman says the 10 acres of algae in Lake Norman will need the treatment once a month for about six months, but it could take two years or longer to see any results. So now that we're kind of tackling the problem really early in the infestation stages, I'm excited to see how quickly Norman responds and if we can get these 10 acres under control in, in two years instead of four years. Bauman also says the algae can get to a level where it becomes toxic enough to cause swimmers rash if you come in contact to it, come in contact with it here at the lake. And the Lake Norman Marine Commission encourages homeowners and people recreating on the lake if you see the algae species, report it on the Duke Energy website. Live in Cornelius, I'm Destiny Richards, WCNC Charlotte. Destiny, thank you.